Uh, how old were you when the money is great, making part of my fr- French shitloads of money? But you know what? It's more than life, just the money. When did when did you hit that? Mid forties. Mid forties. Okay. Yeah. Insane. Because you realize you're immortal. Like your blood pressure gets high. The doctor's like, you got to lose weight. Uh, you know, you have some health stuff coming up, and you got to focus on these things. You know, and you realize this, man. I'm not unstoppable. Like physically, you know. So now your now your time is limited. Then you realize you have a clock. You know. Wow. I uh, recently hired a mentor to teach me some stuff. It's you know, high high level stuff. And he's other day he sat with me. He said, "Hey KB, think of yourself as person one, and person two is your best version of yourself walking in the room right in front of you, and tell me three emotions that person has." And I'm like, "Okay, let me think about it." He goes, "This is supposed to it's supposed to be hard." So it took me like a little bit of time to think about it. Okay, I'm like, "Got it." The best version of me walking in there right now is going to be cool, calm, collective. Unfaze was the third one. Oh, an abundance mindset. And talking to you, I I feel like you have all three of these. Like in business, in the in your, you've been running for when I say running, you're running a business for twenty years in the game, probably more than that now, huh, Dan? Thirty two years now. Thirty two years in the game, right? That's a long yeah, time. That's a long time. Long time. I'm sure you had things come at you, lawsuits, people came, you know, with a with a, with a target on behind your back. Did you ever get phased? Like you, you, you ever get freak out and like, oh my god, you're unfazed? Like you know, are you cool, calm, collective all the time? Like you are now? No, no, I'm unfazed every day. It's just, are you going to deal with it? You know, there's fears every day. I don't care what anybody says. Nobody is un doesn't have unfazed. fear every day. Like, what could happen to this? I got this problem. I got to fix this. I got, you know, I, I can't think of a night I go to sleep without thinking about something I need to, you know, work on. You know. Um, yeah. And that that fear and anxiety is a lot of people portray that they never have it. it. It's just how do you cope with it? You know, sure. we're humans. So being humans, we're driven by fear. We'll do more to avoid pain and fear than mm. to gain pleasure as humans. Right. That's insane. It's true. Right. Like fear motivates you. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, my wife are opening a business right now, and uh, you know, this is a, it's huge, it's a big investment for us, and she's so fearful at times, and sometimes she's good, and I'm fearful. But like, you know, yesterday I was interviewing a gentleman, and um, he owns a bunch of rehabs, and he's like, dude, like, like you said, fear is something you should use as piece, you know, as energy, and but try to do more faith based with versus fear. Yeah. Operate I mean- a fear system. Fate system. Yeah. It's it's just uh, with fear, the best way to overcome it is to accept in your mind what the worst case scenarios can be and say, okay, well, if that happens, I'll still get it. We'll be all right, man. Um, that gives you some solace, you know. But the biggest thing to shift your fear mentality is to take drastic action, schedule it, but also keep really on your physical well-being too um because yesterday for example i was having a big stressed out thing going on in my head and i'm like i'm just gonna go run man for like 30 minutes man so i just ran around the park for 30 minutes and after i felt 90 percent better and i thought a lot of the solutions while i was just looking at the birds and the ducks man um and that's why a lot of times i like to spend time alone you know i, I tell people you should eat at least one meal a day alone um, so you can contemplate what, what's going on and who you are, you know? I agree with you 200%. I'm the same way. Like lunch, I like to have lunch by myself, typically. If it's a business lunch, right? It's different. But typically, I, I'm like you. Like, you have to have one. I, I mean, I, I honestly, I think I like to be alone a lot of times, even though I'm, a, I'm an extrovert and a lot of friends and family and stuff. But like, sometimes, I think alone time is very important. It is. Yeah. 